Alright guys, welcome back to another video and the video we're talking about today is we just got a package here from Cleveland Software Design. So if you guys don't know who that is, Philip from over there, Philip Ellis is fantastic. He does a lot of kits for us for uh, virtual pinball machines and he has a kit here for solenoids to put on your flippers. So what I wanted to put on the Legends Pinball is I'm still not really, uh, even though I got the, upgrade, the upgraded haptics and stuff uh, from Buy Stuff Arcades that I did in a video previously, there was still something missing, especially somebody who has a virtual pinball machine over there. I, I kind of wanted to make this as close to that one as possible without spending a ton of money on it. So I ran across this, and basically what we're going to do here today is this kit basically lets it so the flippers, every time I hit the flippers, no matter what, it's not software controlled or anything, it hits the solenoid. So you'll hear that kind of clocking sound every time you hit the, the, the flippers, which is fantastic. It gives me that haptic feedback that I'm looking for. So we're going to go ahead and see what this looks like, see how it installs onto the machine, and uh, show you guys how it works and how easy it is to install. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a brekkie is the gaming tech, gaming tech is the gaming tech, gaming techie. All right, guys, so the first thing we're taking a look at here is the solenoids themselves. So this is exactly how it comes. Everything comes pre-wired. So these are the two solenoids. You're obviously going to take this and put it on either side. So this will go on the left-hand side, and the other one will go on the right-hand side. Um, and you can see everything is pre-wired. So the solenoid is right here. You can see that this is already pre-wired and ready to go. It has the button wiring, which I'm going to show you how that works here, uh, that you connect to the buttons, because basically you have to take the cable out of the buttons of the flipper, they kind of attach to this and then you run another wire from here that goes directly into the button. So we'll see what that looks like once we get the machine apart. And uh, then the only other thing you need to do is there's this button right here. And as you can see here in the box, it comes with a power supply that's also pre-wired. So it's got the regular power cable right there and you can see that everything comes pre-wired. And you can see it has the green cable right there for the power which is just gonna plug into that slot right there. But of course I'll show you that when we get closer to opening everything up and putting everything together. But this is what it comes with. It comes with these two solenoids for the left and right side. A lot of stuff is already pre-wired and then the little power supply that you need to actually power these solenoids. So let's go ahead now and we're gonna open up the um, cabinet here like you usually do, pull out the side rails, pull out the uh, arcade buttons there on the front, pull all that stuff out, and let's go ahead and get into the guts of this and see what we do. All right, guys, so let's take a look at what we have going on here after I just installed this. So we have the left one here that I plugged in, and we have the right one here uh, that I plugged in as well. Now, this was a, a really, really easy install. It couldn't be any easier getting this. All right, guys, so I just put all of this together uh, right here. Uh, I have this lifted a little bit, so it's easier to get in here. This is kind of a mess, sorry about that. But hopefully I can give you guys an idea on how easy this was to install. Uh, this from Philip Ellis from Cleveland uh, Software Design. This couldn't be any easier when I tell you guys how to install this. Um, I, I showed you guys what the units looked like before. So all I did was I attached them to the left and right side. You got one on the left one on the right. Obviously, you can't see the right one because the box is kind of blocking most of it. Uh, that, that sits in the act games, but they're both on the left and right hand side. So I'm gonna concentrate on showing you guys the left one, but the right one is done the exact same way, just cause this one's easier to show off. But uh, I put the two screws in there, uh, three quarter screws that are sitting right there. You can see one right there and I put one on the end there as well. And three millimeter tape on the back of the whole thing. So it's got the three millimeter tape and two screws there as well, uh, just for double security. So there shouldn't be any issues with that. So once I had that mounted, I also mounted the power supply. I just have the power supply just kind of sitting right here in the middle of uh, the power supply there. So just put that right there in the middle, no issues with that. And then what I also have going on is of course, how do we actually wire this? Well, guys, it couldn't be any simpler. There's no need to rewire anything. There's no need to cut anything. Literally plug and play as it gets. Literally all you do, the red button here, as you guys are seeing uh, is the button that, um, that is your, your flipper. So you're gonna go ahead and unplug that. Uh, you're gonna take the two that are out there out. Same thing on the right side. You're gonna take the two that are in there for at games out. You're gonna unplug it. And then the wire that goes from the actual solenoid that was pre-wired that I showed you guys before, the one that came from the button that I showed you guys, all you do is you take that button one and you plug it right into your button. Same thing as this side. Take that cable that's coming right from the, um, from the end there and it's labeled button like I showed you guys before, plug it in. There you go, you got the button wired up. Then the next thing you gotta do, of course, now you have the cable that was in your button before, right? You had the, the wire that was going from, that was in your at games plugged into the button that you unplugged. All you do is you take that and there's another cable, the one that was also dangling 
from the uh, that came all attached to the uh, solenoid there. You're going to take that and you're going to plug it into that button, just like you see here. It's literally just plug and play. There's no, there's nothing you got to do anything special. You literally just take that. It's the one that's labeled not the button on. It's the power source. So you're just going to go ahead and the one that's labeled there, you're going to plug it into this, just like that. So those two wires are plugged in. Simple plug and play. Like I said, take the button wire out. Take the button wire that comes from the solenoid that you got that's labeled button, plug it into the button, simple. Take the leftover wire that was from your button before and plug it into the two leftover power options there that came from the solenoid that was also pre-wired and ready to go. Then you have that two wired up. You do that on both sides. And then the power supply has a green cable as you're looking at here. The green cable that was, there was one slot open on the on the power unit there on the board that you guys saw before. All you do is you take that green cable and you plug it right into that it only fits one way you plug it into the board you plug one here you plug one here from the power supply and that is it that is as simple as it gets guys it's literally plug and play no issues at all it's a little bit hard to describe with how tight everything is in here but if you guys get this kit with what i just told you you'll easily be able to do this you know it took me longer to unplug everything and take everything out and uh, unscrew the edges and all that stuff that we usually have to do than it did for me to actually install this so it was really easy literally two minutes I'm plugging some wires and plugging new ones in. That is it. And then what you get out of it, and you guys are about to see, obviously I have a long power supply that it came, the long power cord that it came with, and I just have it plugged in for the time being on the outside just to show you guys. But now you can see when I hit the red button, there is the solenoid sound. That is the sound that we love to hear. You can hear it clacking on the left and right hand side. So now when you're playing, you can kind of feel it there. And now when I'm playing here, I can also feel it here and it sounds loud, it sounds great. And now it's not software based. So every time I hit the flipper button, I'm playing with the flippers, it will sound like the solenoids. So it gives you that real tactic feedback along with the surround sound feedback that I added here before. Uh, now we have some solenoids in here as well and it's not software controlled. So I can easily use it with the Act Games tables that it comes with, which is obviously what I wanted. So let me show you guys what that looks like when this is all powered on and ready to go. All right guys, so here we are with the table just to show you a couple of minutes of gameplay here. Uh, just to show you guys what this kind of adds here. Let me lower the volume just a little bit. So I have the haptics that of course I did in the previous video that I added to this machine that adds the rumbling on the bottom and the upgraded haptics and everything. And that was added with the um, Buy Stuff Arcades kit that I showed you guys in the last video. And now what we have here, as you guys are seeing here, when I hit the flippers, you guys should be able to hear that clacking there. That is of course the solenoids at work. So now every time, this is obviously a stock table, as you guys are looking at here, now all the stock cables will have the solenoid effect with the flippers, which is fantastic. Uh, let's go ahead and just throw a ball here real quick. This feels so much better. And that was a great way to start. Let's see if we can hit the ball here real quick. So yeah, that, that has the tactical feedback and the tactical noise that I want. So it feels great. And then of course, in combination with the Buy Stuff, uh, Buy Stuff Arcade's feedback system, this now feels a lot better. When I hit the uh, sides here, um, that will actually cause the table to vibrate. Feels great there. And that was terrible again. Counting up the score up there. But yeah, this feels great. Like the thunderstorm there now is vibrating with the subwoofer that's on the bottom from the Buy Stuff Arcade's kit and all that stuff is kind of happening there and now every time i hit the uh flippers here um i'm getting the solenoid feedback and it makes the tables so much better especially since it's built into the to the actual button and we don't have to rely on the software so it works with all the stock tables as you see me playing here and of course it will also work with my pc build uh as well if I wanted it to, if you have a PC build attached to your at games, of course it will work the same way because it's just, like I said, it's just attached to the button. Yeah, this is so much better now. Having the feedback system here. Of the table kind of shaking. But yeah, you guys get the idea. It works really well. It, it works with all the stock tables. Like I said, it, it was a really, really easy install as you guys saw before. Uh, there was no issues with installing it or anything. 
it was as simple as it kind of gets, theoretically. I mean, it, it doesn't get any easier than that. I showed you guys it was basically unplugging the button and then replugging in the button from the solenoid, adding power to it, and then connecting the extra wire that you had from the from the previous button into the new wire of the kit. I mean, it's super simple. It's literally plug and play. Uh, as, uh, as easy as it is. The hardest part of the whole entire thing was honestly finding the room to put the solenoids there on the side and screwing in that screw because it's a little tight in there. But other than that, I mean, this is exactly what I wanted for. Now I got a combination of the Bison Arcade's haptic kit and then also from Cleveland Software Design now having these solenoid kits. I mean, this is as easy as it gets. This was fantastic, guys. If you guys want to add solenoids to your flipper buttons, to the At Games Legends, I definitely recommend that it adds a much clickier uh, to the buttons. It adds that solenoid feedback and the clocking that you want on the side in, a, in the easiest fashion possible. It doesn't get any easier than this. So this is definitely something you guys should consider adding to your At Games Legends. Add solenoids, guys, to the, to the actual buttons because it makes a big difference and it makes the games feel much more alive, especially since it works with all the stock tables and your PC build. It's as easy as it gets. So, if you guys have any questions about what you guys saw in today's video, guys, as always, leave it down below. If not, thank you guys for watching. Until next time.